comparing silent air compressors in the workshop. When working on miniature steam engines I prefer to use a silent type of compressor in my workshop. This video compares two similar but very different machines. In 1999 I built a Land Rover and I painted it using my old compressor and that just about finished it off so I bought this one in the year 2000 and it's called a Wisp Air Compressor. To be perfectly honest over the years I really have abused this machine. For instance I haven't drained it for a long time. Here's all the water followed by the oil running out of the drain pipe. I also use it for extended periods which you're not supposed to do and it does get very hot but it's always worked for the last 22 years. This clean up is well overdue. Some of the paint is missing from just below the clear plastic bowl where I would normally drain the water. I think over the time that I've used this compressor some of the water must have got underneath the paint and removed it. This is a very overdue clean up, it's splattered with paint. It's had a hard life really, it just lives under the bench. I couldn't find many details online about Wisp Air compressors until I found this company and spoke to a man called Stuart who was incredibly helpful. His company details are on screen at the moment. The only trouble being, I found the address for Stuart via the internet, but that was only after I went over to Leeds and bought a different type of compressor. I lived near York, approximately 40 miles from Leeds. Before I continue this story, I am going to show you something that is well overdue. The hose clip on this pipe has been slack for quite a long time. So in these days of high energy costs, I thought it was a good time to tighten it up so it doesn't leak. And I've also tidied up all of the silicone rubber outlet pipes that normally were on the floor. I thought at this stage it would be a good idea to modify this air fitting to fit on the air pipe of the new compressor. This hole in the fitting is designed to hang it up. For the new compressor that shortly will be in the new part of the workshop, I needed to make a complete new air service to run the steam engines. And I need the option to either have the air momentary by pressing the plunger, or continuous by using a couple of O-rings to hold the plunger down. So using my bandsaw, I cut a slot in the fitting as you can see here, then I removed the sharp edges with a file, and now I can use both of these O-rings to hold the plunger down, so I don't have to hold the fitting. Once upon a time, I always had an O-ring on the actual pipe, but it used to fall off a lot. I tested the fitting with my existing Wisp Air compressor. Have a listen to how quiet it is. All I need to do now is drive from my home near York to Leeds to buy the new compressor. And here I am on Kirkstall Road in Leeds, very close to the Machine Mart place. And I'm turning in now, yes, and here it is, Machine Mart. I went into the Machine Mart shop and bought a compressor that looked quite similar to the one that I have back in the workshop. This one is called a Clark Shh compressor, because it's supposed to be very quiet. As you can see it looks very similar to my Wisp Air compressor in the workshop, but there the similarity ends. This is a compressor once I lifted it out of the car and put it in my new workshop. I followed the instructions, checked the oil level, put a little bit more oil in it, and now I need to let some air out so I can hear what it sounds like when it's pumping back up again. I slowly opened the valve to release the air and waited until it started making a noise. And make a noise it did. This is far too noisy. I cannot live with this. For this particular shot I used the same camera at the same distance from the compressor with the same settings. When I compare it with the sound coming from the one in the workshop, have a listen. And don't forget the camera's sound microphone is exactly the same in both clips. This is acceptable, it's very quiet. This one is not. I really can't live with this sound, it's too loud, it's not deafening like a normal compressor, but it's very annoying. What puzzles me a little bit is when I let some of the air out, the tone of the compressor changes, and when I tip it forward, it gets quieter, but not always, something's definitely wrong with this. Even tipped forward, it's still too noisy. 
In this clip I've connected the airline to one of my Stuart 5A steam engines. And now to a small steam pump built by my friend Don English. And this is a Stuart triple expansion that needs some attention, and yes it still needs some attention, but it does at least run. The steam engines sound very different in my new extension mainly because they sat on a full length worktop which in turn is resting on three kitchen units so it's acting as a bit of a soundboard I'm quite happy about this, it's intentional When a steam engine is knocking owing to either mechanical inadequacies or just timing errors it's really helpful to amplify these noises so that you can find out where the noise is coming from and subsequently stop the noise I'm going to leave this Stuart Victoria running for a while and you'll really start to hear how annoying the sound of this compressor is. Especially when I slow the engine down. You do get used to the noise, I must admit, until you hear the sound from the other compressor. I need a compressor that sounds the same as this one, and nothing like the sound of this one. This weekend has been a total waste of time. I went over to Leeds on Saturday to buy the compressor. It was so horrible, I took it back on the Sunday. Looking on the bright side, I did get a refund and in three days time I should get it back in my account and I'll buy another compressor. This time I'm going to buy one called a Bambi. There are different levels of Bambi compressors. I'm going to buy the mid-range one. They're a bit more expensive but should be better for me long term and a lot quieter. This one on the other hand is getting even louder. It was at this point that I'd had enough of this horrible noise. I phoned Machine Mart and made arrangements to return it. Uh, my name is Keith Appleton. I called him yesterday and bought a compressor. Uh, it's one of these um, shh type, very quiet ones. But it's not, listen. After this phone call, I drove over to Leeds, dropped the machine back at Machine Mart, and here I am starting the journey back home. I look forward to buying the next compressor, and I really hope it's as quiet as the one I currently have. And that concludes this video. I'd just like to say stay safe, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. And may all your compressors be quiet ones. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.